The original creation. Now I've got these little arrows and highlights and stuff like that just to help you or highlight certain things for you to look at and understand. In Genesis 1.1, we start in the scriptures, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, or the heavens and the earth, it's actually plural. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now, how far back that was, I do not know, but the earth was created back at the beginning. And, you know, sometimes, you know, you hear Christians say, well, the earth is only 7,000 years old. It's not. It's not. We don't do ourselves any justice when we say things like that. You know, science will come along and a lot of very highly educated people, and they look at the molecular or, or, or uh, structure of the earth or the layering of, of, of uh, deposit, uh, deposits on the earth, and they can tell that it's taken eons for that to happen. Uh, ice ages and all sorts of different things and yet Christians come along and say well no we got a genealogy in the, back, in the book of Matthew and a genealogy in the book of Luke and we can step back the years which we can uh, and we can come right back to Adam and that's only you know some six and a half seven thousand years ago so that doesn't and, and so Christians say that's when God made it he didn't God made it way back here in the beginning way back he, when he made the rest of the universe, he put the earth in it. He made the earth then. And, and so when it says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, that sentence is talking about this original creation of what we know as the earth. So in its original form, it was created way back in what is called the beginning. 